All right, once again, welcome to the Raisin Baseball YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about uh, a new bat. We've, we used uh, an axe bat back when it was made by Baden. Like that was what it was labeled as, is Baden wood bats. Um, probably one of the earliest wood bats Tanner had, had an axe bat to the it. axe bat handle. Yeah, the axe bat handle to it. So uh, made by Baden Sports. It is the company that, that owns the patent on um, the axe handle. So you got axe bats. So uh, the, the, the new bats are the 2022 Avenge bat. So this is the Avenge Pro. Avenge Pro hybrid, right? And then this one down here is the Avenge Pro hybrid. Boom. Boom. Oh, there's two of them. So this one is a composite bat. Um, you can see there's carbon fiber down in the handle there and then a composite barrel. That one is a carbon fiber handle and an alloy barrel. So, the so ping it's a hybrid. It? It's just louder. So, or not louder, it's a higher pitched ting on that one compared to like a thunk on this one. So, um, I've used both of them quite a bit. I've used this one, as you can see, um, a lot off the machine. That's why there's so many ball marks. But um, it feels it feels pretty good in my hands, whips through the zone pretty well. So, um, I'm liking it so far. What's interesting is though that they, they kind of almost skipped a year. Like they didn't have any, any of these Avenge Pros, this model, I believe for the 2021 year. And so they, they dropped this 2022, I think a little bit early because they didn't have a 2021. And uh, it's got great reviews from the baseball bat bros. Mm -hmm. um, I think they've done a really good job with the connector. The connector's done well. There's, you got any sting off of it? I haven't got any sting. Mm -mm. And there's some mishits. Yeah. I just, so I hit one right there. The connector's pretty cool. It's a, it's a pretty cool feel. Um, the other big thing is the handle. The knob. So let's see. This I can't remember the, the exact name of it. This is the Power Axe. Yeah, it's the Power Axe handle compared power to a axe. regular so, axe handle it's, cut, it's slimmer so it's cut off a little bit on the edge here so you can really grip it and whip it through the zone um so also, it's slightly slightly smaller slimmer compared to their regular axe handle. in the handle too right right in here so it's not just in the, mm -hmm. the cavity field but it's everywhere which gives you gives you more whip i can you know really feel my feel the bat going like i can pull it better and i feel like i can really get my hand like whipped through so the only thing that we talked about like and and you can almost chalk it up to having a bad day, right? Yeah. Is that you were dipping under. I went under like every single ball. When he yeah. first got it. So the absolute first time he got it, um, just to check it out, was going under the ball. I mean, I, I knocked lot. the tee. Like I knocked the tee forward so many times. It was really, really a bad day. So um, I don't know. So here's the thing. I did that, right? Had a really bad day with this. And then I took it to the cages probably about a week or two ago. And I was hitting with it, and I was just mashing baseballs. So uh, I think I'd chalk it up to a bad day, but um, I mean, I, I hit pretty dang, pretty dang well the second time, but the first time was was pretty rough. So I think I think that's a food for thought, right? So sometimes guys are like, "Well, this bat sucks," or "This, this, this, that, whatever." Sometimes you just gotta let it eat, get a feel for it, make some adjustments, and things turn out well. Because the launch angles were great that yeah, you had hitting off of them, and they were you know, piss missiles just off the bat. They were nice. So. Um, the sound on this one actually is really muted and that it is... It sounds like you can barely hear it when you're hitting off the tee, but when you get on like live pitching or a machine, that's when you start to really hear it. It sounds, uh, it sounds pretty dang good in my opinion, but when you're hitting off the tee, it's, so, it's, you mean you can't hear anything. You're thinking like, dude, what am, am I even, am I even hitting the ball? Like people pay a lot of money to do testing on sound. Sound actually dictates a lot on whether or not a person thinks they're hitting the ball well. Uh, and that's unfortunate because I think that's sometimes a kiss of death for a lot of bats where it's like the sound isn't quite right, but the reality is the ball's hopping and jumping off the bat. So, you know, you need to be testing it because they'll do, they'll literally, every bat company will they do mock-ups and they'll test the sound and the performance and they may all be the same bat, literally. Different but sounds. Different and they'll, sounds. They'll be like, which one do you like more? And that's... And they're all painted they black. Mm -hmm. So nobody knows. They're like, this one's hot. This one sucks. This one's and okay. And they're the exact same bat exact same bat and so sound plays a big part in whether or not people think the bat is hot whether it jumps off the the, the ball jumps off the bat so it's, it's interesting to see what type of marketing they do but um grab the you got a one-hand trainer which I is do. a really cool uh one-hand trainer because you don't see any uh one-hand trainers that are non-wood so this is a x-bat one-hand trainer it's a 18-incher 
18 inch, so it's it's really really tiny compared to some of the other one hand trainers I've used. Um, it has the regular axe knob here compared to was that the power knob? Is that what you said? The power axe handle, yeah. So I don't know if you can see the significant difference, especially in here. You can see the taper oh. really fast through here. Here it remains a little bit thick, uh, and then it's just an aggressive taper down. It's a lot thinner, a little bit more whip in the hand. So that's that's kind of what you guys see on the difference on the the axe handle itself. Slightly smaller in the actual knob and smaller for the power axe handle in this one versus the standard uh, power axe. But they make this in a 18 and I believe a 22 inch version, maybe a 24 inch version, but that one does really nice. It's, it's cool to have a one hand trainer that's made out of, that's alloy, right? Yeah. Um, out of alloy or even a composite just because the weight you can really control the weight. And so especially for guys that are not used to one hand trainers, it can be very discouraging because everybody sucks at one handed things. <laughs> Until you become really good at it. And if you're really good at hitting a ball with one hand, you can hit it with two. You'll be amazing at hitting with two. So uh, overall, the, the thought on the, um, which do you have a preference on which one you like better? The alloy or the, uh, I, I would like, the hybrid? I, I mean would the like, hybrid or the, the, the whole uh, composite? I would like the the hybrid better if I mean for me this sounds a little little much like it's just it's really loud like it's a ding it's like the old fifty one fifty in my opinion so it's but let's be real that I feel like that one's hotter in my opinion that one's hotter this one sounds better so Tanner is a composite guy he likes composite bats through U Trip through um, BB Core he likes composite, composite bats so the high pitch ping has always been like a a turn off for him where he doesn't really like it. But you would say this one that is one, the hotter, hotter of, the, of the two bats, mm -hmm. which is the all... That's the hybrid. Oh, that's the hybrid. So you've got the carbon, uh, you can see uh, the carbon here, and then the alloy barrel with the connector here. Yep. So they also have the, uh, I don't forgot what they call it, something about the whip. Carbon oh, it's whip. right here. Carbon I whip. I had it, where did it go? Carbon hyper whip. whip, it's the Hi hyper whip. Hyper whip. So if you yeah. look, if you look, it's got that little aerodynamic. <laughs> No, you can see it. No, it has to do with where the weight's just placed. So you can see there's more weight here. There's an angle here that cuts down. I don't know if you can see that a little bit better when I put my hand behind it. But it's definitely not a flat, traditional uh, end cap. So those are the big things about the... Uh, Axe bats. Axe bat. Would you say they're balanced and loaded? In your opinion, when you swing, do you think they swing the same? I say that one's slightly more end loaded. That one's slightly balanced. This... The uh, the Avenge Pro is slightly more balanced in my opinion. They're pretty dang close, but um, this one's slightly unloaded. Uh, so both easy to get through the zone. Mm -hmm. Easy. Right. So there you go. The 2022 Axbat Avenge Pro and the Avenge Pro hybrids. 450. The composite one, 450, and then the hybrid is 400. There you go. Price point. And then don't forget about the. I don't know the price point on this. I think it's around 50 bucks. So well, it's, it's about, it's I, think, I think it was a uh, 49.99. Uh, hard to find sometimes it's out of stock, so keep your eye out for it. But if you're a uh, one hand training guy, that's gotta be in the bag of it's tools that you, that you use because you get a lot of control with it and uh, doesn't break and gets through the zone really easy so you don't get too frustrated working out. Key is don't get frustrated with yeah, one hand training. It's so hard. So. so until you get good with it, it's frustrating when you learn how to drive it with one hand, you're gonna crush it with two hands uh, when you swing the bat. So, all right, that's 2022. Axe bats. Check them out. See ya. See ya.